بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next possible reason for ehrp not exchanging the routes it can be because of the route filtering because normally what we do is we do implement route filtering you now route filtering is something what we covered in the route filtering section so in the production networks you generally configure the route filtering to specify what routes should be advertised and probably you may not want some specific routes uh, to be advertised maybe you don't want some rounds not being advertised to specific neighbors so in those kind of scenarios we do configure route filtering options and we can match those routes with the help of access list or we can also use prefix list or even we can map them in the route inside the route maps so there are different ways you do it and again at the at, at then you know you should know how these things works how these things are configured and what is your requirement and according to that requirement you should know the correct place where exactly the route filtering should be applied so if there is any misconfiguration of the route filtering or maybe there is a possibility that you don't really want route filtering maybe someone applied that so you need to know that uh, specific requirement so if you are trying to configure the route filtering then you should know your requirement and you should know the correct configurations so there are specific show commands we'll be using for verifications like we'll be using show ip protocols now with show ip protocols we can uh, confirm if there is any uh, route filtering applied then probably you will see this uh, filtering options applied on specific routers we can confirm that and then probably what i can do is i can also verify inside my uh, configurations like here uh i can i can just go ahead and verify with show run section command as well where i can clearly see there will be some route filtering or the distribution list specifically used inside my configurations and one more thing we also need to ensure that when you are doing some troubleshooting let's say if route filtering is something a requirement for your organization then we always need to ensure that this particular route filtering should be applied in the right direction and the right interface and the acl or the prefix list whatever is used to match the statement that should be correctly configured so the so the basic part is like you need to know the actual configurations and how they work and how they behave if you configure these things so let's try to see i'll uh, i have configured some uh, route filtering options in my topology and as per my topology i'm using this three routers here and the problem is the problem is these specific routes are not being advertised to router 1 so the router 1 is not receiving these routes so there is some problem here so probably in this we assume that the neighborship is okay because uh, there is no problem with the neighborship so we confirm that by using show ip ehrp neighbors on the router 2 we have two neighbors and most likely the problem is between the router 2 and the router 1 i think so let's confirm that whether i'm getting the routes on the router 2 or not so you can see i'm getting the routes on the router 2 now this confirms that there is no problem with the network advertisements so which means these networks are being advertised to the router 2 and we'll try to go and see on the router 1 if the routes are not coming over there you can see i have already verified now it clearly says that i'm i'm not getting any routes so if i'm not getting the routes from ehrp i also need to confirm the routing maybe there is a better source so if i say show ip route i can see only connected means there is no other routing also configured here means i'm expecting the routes should come via ehrp in our case but the routes are not coming means the problem is between the router 2 and the router 1 so we'll try to go ahead and verify the configurations on the router 1 because the neighborship is established which means most likely the problem is not with the neighborship and network statements are okay because router 3 network statements are okay but you can see there is clearly distribution list is being applied and even you can confirm this by giving show ip protocols and you can see there is s1 by 0 interface 
is applied with prefix list with CCNP name. And we also verified that with the help of show run section command. There's a prefix list applied and we can confirm that prefix list what exactly it is doing by using show IP prefix list. Now you can see here, uh, as per this configuration, the router 2 is configured with a prefix list outbound on S1 by 0. And maybe that is my requirement. So maybe the requirement is I want to deny these two prefixes. Maybe uh, now you need to know your requirement. Maybe my company wants to ensure that this 13.0.1.0 and 2.0 subnets, these two should not be advertised. That's okay. But actually, it is not advertising anything. That's a problem. So the problem is here, uh, maybe, you know, you, you don't see this 13.0.0.0 network. So that should be advertised. Even 30 dot network, that should be advertised, right? But actually, it is denying all the remaining routes. That's a problem. So let's assume this is what my, uh, my company wants. And as per this statement, you can see there is a deny deny means automatically it is denying everything. That's the problem. So my administrator, what he did, he configured deny statements. He did, but actually he forgot to give permit any, right? That's the problem. So we need to go and say IP prefix list. If you want to see the exact configurations, we can say show run IP prefix. So as per this configuration, you can see here this configuration is there. So I'll, I'll just copy paste this configuration up to here same. And automatically the sequence numbers, I'm not getting into the configuration part because already we have covered a little bit in detail about how these things works. So here my focus is only on troubleshooting part. So I'm going to say permit any. So how you write any in the prefix list? We have to say, we also need to say less than or equal to 32. If you remember in the routing section, we covered that in the route filtering section. So I just wanted to permit all the remaining routes. So now this was the problem. So if I verify now, you can see now I'm getting the routes. Still, their first two routes are not getting because if your company requirement is these routes should be denied, then you leave it. If your requirement is, you know, maybe some other routes also should be filtered, then you add them over there. So probably if you are implementing a route filtering, we need to ensure that that particular route filtering is correctly configured. And that's what this points here. We need to make sure that you are applying on the right direction, right interface. And we need to make sure that whatever the ACL prefix list or route map statement, whatever used, that should be properly configured. So if there is any misconfiguration, then that will lead to uh, routes not being advertised to the specific neighbors.